at this. Lilu, calm, girlfriend. No. No. This is the bar cart that Gabe set up. Has a lot of work to do. And then we have this weird nook thing. I think it's supposed to be a desk area. But Gabe just kind of put the wine stuff there. So we're gonna turn this into a wine area. This is the living room. Everything is an absolute mess right now. This is a painting that my Nana painted many, many years ago. And it travels between all of our houses, basically. TV. Whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, this is the situation I'm about to address. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to do the kitchen first because I really want a bagel and coffee and I just want some sense of normalcy. And then over here is my desk area. I'm in love with this arch. And the desk area is kind of set up already. Gabe kind of set that up. So, but yeah, more cream barrel boxes. We just have a long ways to go. Um, the kitchen is basically what I want to set up, but it's also where Lilu has been uh, staying. So, <sighs> where to start? Where to start? Okay, so I'm making some progress, I think. I went through some boxes, and then I started to put boxes that belong in the kitchen into the kitchen. A lot of this is stuff from our registry. We registered at Crate and Barrel, and a lot of it we just kept in the boxes when we got, so I haven't even, you know, opened yet. Um, eating some cookies, and let's see. I mean, this box here is like, all of our old appliances, like our juicer and, or no, that's my coffee maker. <gasps> okay, found my Keurig. Where's the juicer? This is the little juicer. I have a bigger juicer, I don't, I don't know where that one is. Um, and then I also have that Keurig. So I might have to decide which one to go with. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. I'm getting so overwhelmed, okay, okay. Okay, this is like little, okay, dish stuff. Wow. Maybe the juicer's in there. Okay, I decided to open up the brand new coffee maker, the larger Keurig. And I think I'm just gonna take the smaller one and take it to work and keep it in like the work office for everybody. Um, yeah, nowhere near done, but needed coffee. <laughs> so I found a singular mug. Oh my gosh, I didn't pick, I didn't pick a big enough one. Um, and yeah, unpacked one mug so that I can make myself some coffee. Okay, so here's an update with where I'm at. I unboxed all of our pink cups and glassware from the old apartment. And as crazy as it is to say, I'm not really, not really feeling the pink vibe anymore. The pink was very, pink farmhouse was our last apartment. Uh, this one is a lot more modern. So we did get all new glassware for our registry but I'm gonna put all of this away probably in that cabinet so that we can still keep it and use it if necessary. But yeah, the plain white ceramic is the new vibe. So I'll show you the wine nook. And again, it has our new dishes on it. Oh, these are all our boxes <laughs> that I just unboxed. Um, so this is the bar cart, and this is all Gabe's whiskey stuff. And then this is the wine nook. So these bottles are too thick. They don't fit in the fridge or in the rack. So they're just gonna stay there. But then I put four of each over here. So these are our new glasses. I actually had these ones uh, at the old apartment, 
but basically these are white wine, red wine, champagne flutes, stemless champagne flutes, and stemless wine. So I'm just keeping sets of four there, which is cute. And then I have no idea what's gonna go down here and, or really up there. This is way too tall to put glasses. Like I cannot reach up there, but I might do like books or some decor up there. But this is looking good. I think the bar cart is looking good. I mean, we have, here they are. These are all the other stemless glasses more champagne flutes. So basically the ones that aren't going there are going to go back into the kitchen and kind of go with all the rest. We just have a lot of glassware. So they're gonna just going to go with these ones and we're going to put them probably up top over here. Um, now I'm trying to figure out plates and bowls. These are our Christmas plates that I found antiquing about a year or two ago and those are really cute these are the salad plates we just got from our registry along with some bowls and then they're not gonna stay here but just to see what I've unwrapped these are the dinner plates and these are the appetizer plates which are really cute they're square and then little espresso cups a couple clear glass mugs. I put the rest of the mugs. Um, well, these are more red wine Keurig and then the rest of the glass mugs are right here. So still a lot of work to do. I opened this charcuterie board from Sabrina. It's rose gold brass on the side, which is so cute. And then my mom got us this one for our shower. It has our wedding day on it and I think it's so cute. We are going to a birthday dinner for me, my aunt, and my cousin. We all have birthdays in September. I think it's so funny because I was just not feeling myself. I was just wearing normal clothes. And then my aunt texted me and said she went full 1940s and Zoe, my cousin, is in a Cinderella dress. So I was like, hmm, does that mean I should have gone with my all sequin cowgirl outfit? My aunt was like, yes. And so here I am, all sequins with the cowgirl boots. And now I feel myself, wow. to get mad. 
tasks. It says Texas on it. And it's very high tech. It has little drawstrings and wire. And... Wow, cute. So we got out of the car and Gabe says, it smells like brisket. <laughs> and it totally does. So I know you're in Texas. That's a French Bulldog. That is a Frenchie. Look at the snout. What? Oh, we need it. 